Okay, so if you have students who want to move a number of files off of their network folder, off of their network drive over the summer so they don't lose it, so they can still get to that next year, it's super easy. Remember, staff members, you don't have to touch anything. Anything saved under your personal U drive, under your personal folder, will still be there next year. Students, that's not the case. So, for example, let's say I have a student um, and this is just their network folder. Really, it's just a folder I created on my U drive, but let's imagine this is a student's network folder. Uh, and so Joe student logs into his computer, he takes a look at his network folder, uh, and he sees that he has all of these files on here that he wants to save. What I recommend for him to do uh, is to right click, come down to new, and create a new folder, and title that folder maybe 2011-2012 school year. And then they're just going to um, highlight all of the files that they want to keep and drag it into that folder. And now all of those files that they have, they're still here. They're just right within that folder that they created. Then they'll simply come over to Google Docs. They'll get all signed in just like they know how to do. And they will click Upload, the little Upload feature right here within their school Google Docs account. And then they will select Upload Folder. Um, and then they will come out to their U drive, uh, their personal drive, and then they will find that folder that they uploaded. So right here, 2011-2012 school year. They will just simply select that, and then they will click OK. Google Docs will give them um, an upload settings. Uh, if you check this box, convert documents, presentation, spreadsheet, and drawings to the corresponding Google Docs format, it will automatically convert everything into Google Docs. Um, they can do that if they'd like, but I'd recommend right now they just leave it unchecked. Um, same with convert text from PDF and image files to Google Documents. I would also uncheck that. Uh, and then you simply need to hit Start Upload. And depending on the number and size of files um, that the students are uploading, uh, that will depend on how long the whole process takes. You can see mine's kind of um, plunk it along here kind of slowly. Oh, there we go. Now it picks up a little bit. Uh, so again, they can upload files individually with this little upload menu. They can upload files piece by piece, or they can upload a whole folder. Uh, and then, however, once they've got them all uploaded, they will be put into Google Docs uh, right here inside a... Um, the school year folder. And so there you can see uh, the files that I've uploaded as they come on in. And it's really that simple, and those files will be there um, forever until they decide to delete them. So best of luck, and I'll check you later.